to Inspiring Adventure. Uh, this is Tuesday night, 6 o'clock. Uh, welcome to Inspiring Adventures with Grace and Lynn. <laughs> the bell is rung. It's time to start. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm Melissa Reyes. I love you too. My book, which is called You Did. He has written the book True Love. This is the science. How do you use science to do that? Super excited tonight. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Inspiring Adventures with Ms. Melez. I'm Melissa Reyes, and tonight I'll be talking with. Uh, hopefully to with it's I'm going to be talking about April Schluter and uh, her inspiring adventure with her book. This is called Finding Success in Balance, My Journey to the Cheerful Mind. I had the pleasure of meeting April Schluter on um, this past Thursday night. We had dinner together. She was visiting Pasadena, uh, California. She's from Chicago, and she was in town, where, and we got a chance to meet, and I interviewed her in person, and we did a little bit of live streaming, and then uh, we recorded an interview and hello, Cindy. Welcome. Thank you for being here. And thank you for helping me to share this out. And um, if anybody's watching via um, replay or on YouTube or Bubbler Media or in a year in bloom, thank you so much for watching. I'm really happy to be here and let you know about Inspiring Adventures, A Year in Bloom, and of course, my friend, my new friend, April Schluter. And um, she's pretty amazing. So I'm actually rendering the video right now that I, um, that I haven't had as much time as I'd like to work on the editing. But um, as soon as it's ready, I will play it for you tonight. It's about 35 minutes long. It's a wonderful interview. Um, we did some editing with it. It's a little dark because it's in, in an intimate set setting at a restaurant. But I will tell you about it. Uh, because it was a, such a wonderful experience. And I know that April is back home in Chicago and she posted in a year in bloom and said that she wishes she could uh, join me tonight. And she's looking forward to seeing the interview. And she realized that, you know, it was one of those experiences that was so full and so wonderful that even if the video doesn't work out, she really enjoyed it. And I appreciated her saying something to that effect. And I felt the same way too, but we do have wonderful, uh, you know, a wonderful video and audio to work with and we'll make something of it. Hopefully what you see tonight will be worth watching. <laughs> but anyhow, I have a lot of other things to share with you while we wait. So uh, if you'd like to, um, let's see, Make some comments, ask questions, feel free. Uh, this is a little different for a year in bloom. Normally, uh, you're used to seeing me interviewing somebody the whole hour. Last week, I had a special um, episode where Cindy came in and helped me. And, uh, you know, Cindy Harrison, she's an awesome art teacher and host of Paint with Heart and Create This and Tips from the Table, some shows that are on Bubbler Media, and also my best friend. And she helps me to produce this show. And um, she's my co-host on last night's show with Ms. Meliz. So we've been really busy producing uh, programming for Bubbler Media. And as we've been slowing that down a little bit, we've been getting ready to do some other things. So. Whew, that's a lot, but she's here watching, so she's here to help. So if you have any questions, let me know. 
and I'm going to share with you um, a couple of things that is going that are going on. One thing I wanted to tell you about was mainly the experience we had at the Raymond, which was the restaurant that April and I met at in Pasadena uh, last Thursday, and it's a wonderful restaurant. And we had an amazing dinner. And the pictures, um, I actually went to go post them on Mother's Day on um, Instagram, and they didn't. It, it didn't. My battery died on my phone right as I had written this beautiful review with like ten pictures and all this stuff, and it didn't work out. So, you know, we're doomed. I think the video is kind of shoddy, and the pictures didn't post, and it's like. I don't know the story. Something is telling me to wait so to make it really good because sometimes when you rush things, it's not the right time. So I take that as a sign to slow down and give it more attention. So I don't like to rush things. Um, I did post in my um, here in the year in bloom and also on my my profile page on Facebook. Another interview that April did with LA Parent Magazine. And I've always liked LA Parent Magazine. It's a great magazine and they have an online presence on Facebook. And I love supporting people and groups that are on Facebook because that's where um, I'm moving to with Bubbler Media. So, you know, we have to support each other. So go see her interview on, you can click through to it on my channel or on, go straight to, um, you know, look it up and find Parent Mag LA Parent Magazine. And they ha have been interviewing authors um, once a week, I think on Tuesdays. And that's really nice. Or not Tuesdays, I'm sorry, on Fridays. So what I learned about um, April. <laughs> well, uh, I think that she's a really tough cookie. <laughs> she has a lot of energy for a little person. <laughs> she just seemed really small next to me. And some of the videos, I look like I'm towering next to her, but she's, um, she's just, um, bigger than life. And she was very, um, very strong in her beliefs. And she came across being so, uh, so powerful and so so happy, and um, has had an interesting road to her finding her cheer cheerfulness. Cheerfulness, and I love the way because she uses the cheerful mind instead of saying joyful or happy place or whatever. Because she was a cheerleader, so you know we use what we um, identify best with. And for me, it has been this year in bloom. So that's kind of exciting. And um, I don't know if I sh if you saw anybody who's not even watching, but I got this for Mother's Day. And this is a flower. And since my year in bloom, it was perfect. I also got these flowers back here from my son Julian for Mother's Day. But this flower I got from Coca-Cola. And it has a lot of special meaning for me. It's made with upcycled packaging from Coca-Cola. And um, it says MITZ on it, M-I-T-Z, which is kind of cool. And um, it is, let's see, it's made um, by women across the world. It's a handmade item made by women artisan using her creativity and resourcefulness and they're distributed by the 5x20 program that Coca-Cola has started. To Their goal is to, um, to reach one, let's see, let's see, since Coca-Cola's company, but 5x20 program aims to enable the economic empowerment of 5 million women entrepreneurs by 2020. That's the 5x20. Um, 5 million women by 2020. So far, they've reached 1.2 million women across 60 countries. So you can support that project if by going do, using hashtag 5 by 20 um, at Coca-Cola Co. Or check it out at Instagram at the Coca-Cola Co. So um, I'm going to type that in in case you want to check that out. So it is hashtag five by 20. And um, five by 20, whoops, not 29, 
So I'm already aging myself. Five by twenty at Coca Cola Co. All right, and so, oops, of course I spelled it wrong. You know, my keyboard is so um, funky because I'm gonna hide that. It is uh, in my studio, and it's got paint and dust and all kinds of shavings and stuff but anyway so that's hashtag 5by2o like that okay so that's how you can support um women around the world who are making things like this to support themselves and their families and it's really important and um i'm going to check into more about that and put it on the blog and then also let's see i will take that down Let's see. And then um, let's see what happens here. There. <laughs> okay. I'm commenting as Bubbler Media. That's always fun. So I'm going to check on the video and see if it's coming up yet. It's got a few more minutes. Ooh, hear the fun news, the fun sounds. Yeah, that could be a little while. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to play it today. But that's okay. I will tell you all about it. It was really wonderful. So, um... Something goes wrong every time I try to watch you live. Oh, I hope something bad didn't happen. Hi, Amber. How are you doing? So, Amber, were you able to see or did you by any chance see the live interview that I did um, on Face? It was an actual live stream um, when I was with Am um, Amber. That's you. When I was with April, she wrote this book, The Success and Balance. Um, her journey, it's my called My Journey to the Cheerful Mind. It, I haven't completely read it yet, but she is, um, she talks about these 10 points that she calls April's tips for a healthy work life balance. And so I, want, I thought we could talk about it because um, I would really like to go through the tips and she addresses the year in bloom group in the video that I'm rendering right now. And hopefully if it's done in the next um, 15 minutes, I will play it right here on um, this broadcast because uh, she has such a wonderful message and we had such a great time. So anyway, in this book, she talks about her 10 tips and I thought I could go through those a little bit. So let's see what tip number one is. And then I have a surprise for you all. A little surprise. Kind of like a whatever. It is a surprise. So anyway, tip number one is know that balance is not black and white. It's gray. So I'm going to type that in here. Oops. I'm going to close this thing. So uh, I don't want this. I don't want this at all. I don't. Ah. Uh. There, there. It went away. There's all kinds of stuff on my screen I'm trying to clear up. So um, know that balance is gray. <laughs> so, um, well, you know, yeah. How is it going today, Amber asks. Well, today was kind of an interesting day. <laughs> I found out that I have more vacation time, unpaid vacation time coming up. So I know some people will be really happy to hear that I will be available and have more time to spend with them. I'm actually happy about having some more time off from my day job. Um, because I definitely, you know, I haven't ever had that length of time off and I'm, I'm looking forward to it personally for me. And this does go to balance and, um, having their time off. So I'm going to have four weeks off 
from June 16th to July 16th to be um, to do whatever I want. So the part about it being unpaid is a little scary because I'm not um, I'm not had a, been able to save for that. So I've kind of been um, you know in a situation that hasn't been able to I haven't been able to really prepare for it like I'd hoped when I did figure that as an option that would be good for me. <laughs> But you know things happen, and maybe it'll open my open things up to a new opportunity. So I'm keeping I'm staying really open for about it, and I know that balance is definitely not black or white. I can't just say that is what it is. So I'm going to take that tip. Let's see what um what April says about it. She says I recently had a conversation with a friend that I hadn't been in contact with for a long time. And he asked me how I was doing, to which I replied the usual, great, so busy, so crazy. And I rattled off the many things I was doing. I was still in my previous job the last time we connected, so I shared the progress of my new business venture. Boy, doesn't this sound familiar? I also told him about writing a book about work-life balance, to which he responded, seems like that contradicts your real life. I kindly disagreed and emphasized that my life is exactly how I want it to be. It's really important to understand that the, the definition of balance means different things to different people. And some people like me love to stay super busy. She, she goes on to talk a lot about what balance means to her and how your balance doesn't have to mean the same thing and not to let other people define what balance means for you. So I think that's a really great way to start out a list about balance. So her second tip is self-awareness is the gateway to change. That's kind of interesting too. I like that. Self-awareness is the gateway to change. So um, that's a lot of words for that little spot. But so that's tip number two from the success, uh, how to find success in balance by April Schluter. And she says, increasing self-awareness is probably the most important thing you can do to kickstart yourself toward achieving a healthier work-life balance. Being mindful of how you respond to any stimulus is absolutely essential in order to make any meaningful changes in your life. If you're not paying attention, how can you decide to do anything different? In any given situation, think about how your physical, mental, and emotional states are affected. So she has some questions here that you can ask yourself. So I think, you know, that's important. I kind of go through a little checklist in my mind, you know, making sure I'm aware. I do these things automatically because I've been doing it for a while. But let's take a look at her questions. So or let's talk. I'll, I'll tell you what they are. So she'll say, um... After a long workout, what physical pain do you feel in your muscles? How does sleeping only a few hours a night affect your ability to focus? Amber, you, you, I know that you and you're so much like my son, too, who we just had this long conversation about how he really doesn't sleep very much because he has to use all the hours in the day and night to keep up with his studies because he's so close to graduating from college. And so, you know, you just only have so much time. What social situations do you thrive in and which types of people do you like interacting with? That's an important question. You want to surround yourself with the people who you do their, your best with. How does the change in seasons affect your mood? Once you realize that the change in seasons can affect your mood, you need to be prepared for that. How does um, or what is the purpose of a task you are trying to complete? If you know the purpose, that's going to make a big difference. And what types of scenarios really push your buttons and stress you out? So self-awareness is the gateway to change. So that's a really good um, tip. School and work also, homework, what sleep? 
<laughs> yeah. What is sleep? So I know, um, Amber, I've been experiencing a little bit of that because I've taken on these new projects that I've been um, getting up extra early and staying up extra late to use those those hours of the day. And the sleep has been less and less. And it's harder to even get to sleep because I'm thinking so much. And my mind is just so full of ideas. And my body is just so you know, awake, it's hard to wind down, but I've got to, to stay on top of it because as soon as I get overwhelmed or don't get enough sleep, I get, you know, to where my body just decides to give up and I, I go, you know, then it takes, I just, I hit a wall is what I do. So, um, she says, tip number three, identify the values that drive your happiness. I loved it when I was interviewing. Um, uh, I was getting towards the end of the interview, and you'll see if you went to watch the video um, with April, and I asked her what her core value is, and she just perked up because, you know, that that's something that as a life coach, that's what we really work on, discovering what our core value is. And we talk to our clients about, you know, do you know what your core value is? And you can have a core value for lots of things. I have, you know, I've discovered what the core value is of my family and my relationship with my husband and my core value for my work and my relationship with my, my job. And, um, you know, the different areas of my life <clears throat> have discovered what, what the values are. And so in doing that, I really have dug deep into what is most important to me. So when I asked her that, she couldn't wait to share with me. So I think that must have been something that she worked on. It's number four, um, three in her list of identifying the values that drive your happiness. So I'm going to type that in here. Identify the values. I'm just going to shorten it that make you happy. So, um, so that is her tip. And let's see what she says. I don't know what core value means. Well, that's a good, I'm glad you said that Amber. So, um, well, let me read what she says and see if it kind of clears it up. But then if not, well, we'll, we'll talk about it some more. Um, one of the things you may notice while reading this book is the number of the times I say the word fun. It's among my top values, and it is so important to me that I have devoted an entire chapter to it. Um, accomplishment, communication, and respect are also important values. I love setting goals and meeting them. My relationships are optimal when open communication exists, and I place high priority on treating others as I would like to be treated. Once I took the time to understand the values that drive my happiness, I was able to make better decisions by aligning my actions with those values. So values are the things that make the most um, sense in your life that keep you aligned with what it is that you really want and who you really are. So when I asked my husband what the value, you know, his core value is or what he felt like our relationship you know, what our relationship was based on, you know, he said, um, like, um, family, you know, that was the most important thing. He put his family before anything. So it was what you value the most would be the core at your core. I guess it would be, some people might call it what your purpose would is, or what your, your driving force is, or what you live for. So, um, so she said, once I took the time to understand the values that drive my happiness, I was able to make better decisions by aligning my actions with those values. Also, by understanding what my values, that my values may differ from others, helped shift my perspective and release a lot of stress. So yeah, we're not all on the same bus. We're not all going in the same directions. We're not all um, focused on the same core value, you know, that what is important, most important to us could be on the lot on, you know, on the bottom of the list for other people that are in, are in our lives. So when you have that discussion with somebody and you realize that you, you have the same goals and the same core values, it's very exciting, but you also can love someone who 
to know it doesn't really care the same about the same things that you care about. And then you realize, well, why do I love them so much? Well, you know, you might have some common ground or maybe opposites attract and that's okay. But at least you can respect where the other person is going with that. So um, I really like that one too. So she talks about when you are feeling happy, the values important to you are being honored. So I guess, you know, you realize that when, when you are working towards those goals and making those priorities, their focus in your life, then you're feeling happy. And that's, that's exactly what a year in bloom is about. Because I set out this year to make it my happiest, my healthiest, and my best year ever. And I've been focusing on the things that make me happy, healthy, and what I do my best at. And I've been living those things, and it's really made a difference in my life. So hopefully that has um, inspired you to do the same. So I'm going to check on the video and see how we're doing. It's very slow. <laughs> it's a big video. It's a lot bigger than I thought. It's got a lot of data in there. So um, let me see. Come back to this. So this is good. I think that April will like this and we can return to this from time to time. But And it's almost half halfway through the hour. So I can take some questions and maybe Cindy would like to come on with me or um, Amber or somebody or maybe anybody would like to ask some questions. And also I could do some readings because my surprise for you, not completely done, but this is my prototype for my cards. My new card deck is ready. So I actually have some cards. You can see what they're going to look like with colors and the pictures and everything. So I have, um, I could do some readings. So that's exciting. And for me anyway, hopefully for you, if you're interested in having um, some affirmations and doing a reading with me. And then also I got some more mail today. I got some books in the mail I'd love to share with you. And I have a new product to try. And this is um, another Coca-Cola product. I don't know if you know that Gold Peak Tea is a Coca-Cola product. And so um, they sent this to me to try because they're doing a campaign with um, Gold Peak Tea together. We're feeding America. So if you help provide um, or if you share, um, let's see, I'm going to have to read this right. If you can text or, or share a photo, I'll put the details in. But basically, it's using the hashtag Gold Peak Sharing Meals. You can help to, um, to bring food meals to this through this organization to people who are facing hunger and here in the United States. It's called Feeding America. So Gold Peak is everywhere around here. And then um, Amber says, love and be in love, travel the world, sharing love. I don't know if that's a core value, but it's a want in life. Well, core loving people and being loved and, lo and traveling and, and sharing that, that is definitely a core value. And that, if that's what drives your happiness and that's what drives your, motivates, dri is drives, you know, motivates you and gets you moving towards your goals and fulfillment in your life. And it's love that's and, and sharing with people, that's probably one of the most important and wonderful values you can have. And I think that's wonderful. And so that's terrific. I'm so glad that I caught that while you said that, Amber. You're really awesome. So um, I'm going to type in what you're, what, if you could share this out, I'm going to type it in the comments here below. Um, let's see. Actually, I'll take that back because if I do that, it'll be as bubbler, which is nice, but I don't know if bubbler really wants me to be doing that. So I'm going to do this this way in here. So, and then you can copy it for me, Amber. So if you share this, um, <clears throat> let's see, I got to put to boo. You can post a photo of a meal on Twitter or Instagram and include this hashtag, hashtag, Gold Peak Sharing 
meals. Now you don't have to go out and buy Golden Peak or buy anything. You just share a photo of your yourself with a friend or whatever. Somebody, uh, you know, a meal. You're out eating a meal, enjoying some time, like April and I did with our with my husband and her friend on on uh, excuse me the other night on t Thursday, and we posted pictures on naturally like you do um, on Instagram. And if we use that hashtag and uh, shared that with gold peak tea, then, <coughs> um, then they would be providing meals to feeding America. I'm sorry about the noise here. I'm going to try this drink. <coughs> so I don't keep coughing. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Coughing. It's terrible. Maybe this will help. Mmm. Boy, that smells good. It's very cinnamony. I guess that's what that that spice is, that chai tea. It's nice and cold too. It has a little bit of protein in it. Tea and cream. Mmm. I love that. That's good. Well, anyway, so um, please share that out and I'll have more instructions later. I'll come back and add that. So anyway, so do you have any questions about Coca-Cola, Gold Peak Tea, finding success and balance? Would you like to hear more tips? So I'm going to do that. Oh, or cards. We have um, on my website, A Year in Bloom, you can order my guidebook. I'm taking pre-orders for the deck and guidebook. And that's here on, whoops, on my website at mismalins.com. Ah, come on. A lot of information there, but basically it's mismalis.com slash guide dash book dash orders. <laughs> so if you go to mismalis.com and even search uh, guidebook or deck, you'll find it. And um, so right now I have a special for $35. You can get the deck um, and the guidebook, which after the end of this month, after the 31st, they'll be $25 each. So it'd be $50 for both the book and the deck. So um, they do go together because you would get a deck. This might, this is, oops. This is um, one of the cards. This is center and it has a little line there. And it says it's easy to balance when you have your prior, you have your priorities in place. So that's a little bit about balancing. And there's a photo that I took um, at the beach with a rock pile. <laughs> and so anyway, and then that would be one of the cards. But if you went to the page where that picture is in the guidebook, it has a challenge question and some thoughts um, and then a place in the book for reflection and journaling. And all 50 of the, of the pictures are there with all of the um, reflections and affirmations. So a um, little bit more in, involved with the affirmations in the book, and then you can use them together with the deck. So if you're interested in that, just go to mismaliz.com and um, slash guidebook dash orders. So um, that's what's happening now. And then also you can um, sign up there for a reading, a uh, private online reading for $10. And I will do um, some coaching with you using the affirmations. So that is uh, what I'm doing. I'm also going to be appearing, appearing, <laughs> I'm going to have a booth. I'm going to be appearing esoterically, just vaporizing. And no, I'm just kidding. I'm going to be at a booth at a women's retreat. Um, uh, at the end of the month, this month in uh, Santa Fe Springs, California. So if you're interested, if you're in the area and you're interested in attending that, 
It is going to be a really lovely day. It's uh, 10 to 6 in Santa Fe Springs where there's going to be meditation and yoga and, and uh, workshops throughout the day. Plus, um, <clears throat> I'll have a booth there where you can have come for readings and look at the book and talk to me. So there's that. And what else do I have? I guess I got my new calendar from my bestie, New Hampshire Ite. Cindy Harrison. She sent me this awesome, um, I've been looking for just the right planner and calendar and she found it. It's awesome. First of all, on the front and it's plastic too. So it's, it, this is sturdy. This is going to last more than a year, I think. Anyway, it says positive mind, positive vibes, positive life. <laughs> is that not perfect for me? And it's my colors and it's got a little sparkle. And then also it came with stickers and it you could start it at any time. So I was able to start it for June. You just fill in the um, the dates and it has a lot of little positive quotes in here. I love this one. Now is the new later. <laughs> So, you know, let's just get it done, people. I love it. It's a perfect day to start. Bring on the sunshine. I like that one, too. You know, I I try to come up with these on my own, but I love when they're already there. So that is that. Okay, I'm going to check on the video again, because right, if I play it now, I could play the whole thing. Oh, no, not even close. All right. Well, we're going to have to do that. Um, uh, by putting it on YouTube and sharing it in a year in bloom. So that will be exclusive for you. If you're not in a year in bloom, just check it out on Facebook, type in at symbol a year in bloom. And I will let you, if you want to be in the group, just let me know. And I will um, approve your request so you can be in a year in bloom. And then you can see all these wonderful interviews that I've done with authors. And um, you can, uh, you know, get to know them because many of the authors, almost all that I've interviewed this year are in the group. So you can interact with them. And throughout the rest of this year, we're going to be talking to um, and really going through the books and getting to know, um, you know, what, getting to experience, you know, what it is that they have been talking about. So, so far we've been talking about matters of the heart, the soul, the body, and the mind. And um, so we've talked about people, with people like Ruth, Ruth Curran about the brain. And we've talked about, um, to Dr. Um, Noor about the science of neuro neurology of um, love, so that's kind of the heart and the brain. <laughs> and then um, in a few weeks, I'm going to be talking to Taryn Brumfit about body image. And so that's going to be pretty neat. And so um, we've talked to um, Dr. Um, Dr. Uh, Margaret about um, depression and how to balance with having, um, you know, uh, when you have, um, you know, problems like an anxiety or depression or um, mental issues, but you're trying to balance and be your best self. So, you know, there's just so many different types of ways that we can work together to be our happiest, healthiest, and best. So I'm going to be spending the whole year, the rest of the year, talking about all these books and getting all this advice from these experts. And that's um, the year in bloom. Ah, <sighs> okay. Well, I see we have a few people here. If you have any questions, please let me know. And I do hear a little um, message. Can you send me the BeLive link? Oh, thank goodness. Yes, I would love to send you the link, Cindy. Maybe you'd like to come in with me. And if anybody else would like to come in and join me here, um, we could have a little, since the video is not going to be ready, I thought I would be able to uh, put the video on and unfortunately um, it's going to take too long so um but if you'd like to join me uh, let me know and i will put that as soon as i can whoops i will put that in and you can join me here you go cindy hold on one second fingers moving faster trying to get them to move faster okay so there's that 
And then I'm going to go over here to be live and also share it there. Not be live, bubbler, bubbler. So um, I guess I would love to do some readings for you all. I want to make sure that I share this as me and not as bubbler. Okay, here we go. Ah, you know what? I have a weird mouse. That's for one thing. And I'm, I'm a weird person. So that's the other thing. Okay. So coming back, I bet Cindy's waiting here to come in. There she is. She is waiting to come in. <laughs> She's like, stop talking and look at here and let me in. Good evening. Hi. I've been trying to watch your show for 40 minutes. Oh what? my goodness. What happened? Every time you start talking, it goes gray and says something wrong happened or something, something. And it's like, and it would freeze. And I'm like, oh, come on. So I went to my phone, same thing. So I think it's my internet provider. Thank goodness you said that. It's you, not anybody else. Because, well, maybe it is other people. But Amber's been here. She's been watching and talking to me. Yeah. Okay. So you think it's you? I think, I I, I think it's fine. I think it's my internet provider at this end. It's on my phone and on my desktop. So I don't know, but I wanted to check and see if I came in VLive, would it work? And it's working and I can see you in here. Every word you say, I'm so happy. Well, yeah, because you're in here, silly. <laughs> so so did I missed the interview. No, I haven't been able to play it yet because um, I'm surrendering. I, I had gone back and forth about whether or not I was going to do it because the uh, the video itself is very dark. The um, lighting, the lighting. We, you know, Lido did a lot of processing on it, and it's it's not it's probably not that bad. But um, I wanted to do some more, and I didn't. I kind of don't know. I talked to April about it. She's just so positive and so nice, and she's like, "Oh, we had such a great interview. We had such a great time at dinner. The experience is worth it." But so I thought I would try to put it on anyway. But um, but so then I went to go render it, and I forgot. You know, they those long. It's a thirty-five minute thing, so it could take a lot longer. The ones that I had been doing with like raw. Is she leaving? No, she said hello, Cindy. Hello. Hello. The ones I've been doing with like the short ones, they only take a few minutes. Yeah. So this is just about halfway through. It probably will be finished just as we close out for today. But I will post it right away in a year in bloom. And anybody who's in that group can go and watch um, mm -hmm. the interview with April. And meanwhile, I've been going through her book about her, through her 10 tips. Uh, I've only gotten through three tips and Amber and I have been talking about them. And her 10 tips are um, tips, April's tips for a healthy work-life balance. Oh. So that's what we've been doing. And look, there's April. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I'm going to bring April in. I'm so excited. Oh, my goodness. Ah. Hi, April. Hi, April. Me. I'm, I'm on, like, multiple screens, so I can't. Um, oh, good try. And I've got some scratching. Volume. Stop looking at Facebook just for a minute. Just be present with us. This is awesome. amazing. This is this is me and my uh, not in my PJs. <laughs> okay, we can only see your beautiful face. This is April Schluter, everybody, the author of Finding Success in Balance. Can you hear me? Or not? I need to my. Yeah. Oh, you can hear me. Sure, we can hear you. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure. Yeah, you sound great. You look fantastic. Welcome. Thank you for being here. Not a problem. Um, so instead of watching her video, you can interview her right here in person now. I know. Except you can barely hear me because I'm my throat's so dry and it's it's been a a rough weekend. <laughs> well, um, I'm sorry. You know that happens so often when we travel and pick up a bug and you know being in the airport and all the stress and everything. But uh, let, first, let me ask you, how how was your trip home? And was, I mean, I, my flight was at 1 a.m. So, um, you know, L.A. time. So it was 3 a.m. Chicago time. And I got home and it was morning. So um, mm -hmm. the, the, the cold kind of kicked in right as I was leaving. So I there's a lot of pressure in my ears and, and all that. And I came right home. I dropped my suitcase off at the front door and I went straight to bed and I was in bed until 
you know, until I had to leave for brunch for Mother's Day the next morning. <laughs> it was bad. Um, but my husband was, he was golfing when I, when I got home and he came and took care of me and fed me a bunch um, of, and, and, you know, definitely kicked in the, the, uh, stuff, uh, a little bit early, the, yeah. the, the Mother's Day festivities early. So. Yeah. And did you have a nice Mother's Day, even though you were sick? Yeah, it was it was really good to you know be with my mom and my brother and my kids and and all that. So yeah, it was good. good. And may I introduce you to my best friend, Cindy Harrison? Yes, yeah, Cindy. I saw you on the last video um, <laughs> from last week when when I was tagged. So it was really nice to. I did the bomb all her shows. No. <laughs> well, of then, course. In the room right now, we have watching us Amber. She's one of our regulars on a year in Bloom, and I met her on Snapchat. I saw that she was saying to, to uh, that she takes vitamin C before she goes. I should probably do that before I leave for New York on Monday. <laughs> yes, you're on another another trip. You're doing her. She's doing her author book uh, trip, right? Yes, I got. A, I have a speaking engagement this time, and uh, mm -hmm. so that'll it'll be super exciting to. To see in just another happy hour uh, situation in back over in New York. Okay. Well, yes. Get some. Let me take a break for a little bit, unless something pops up. So June looks pretty open for now. Oh well, good. I I mean work life I still, balance. Yeah, I still have my fingers crossed that I'll make it to uh, Chicago this summer. I have the month off um, from June 16th to July 16th, but. Also, that's um, that's a long time for me to take an unpaid break. So, because I'm a little nervous, so I'm thinking maybe I sh really shouldn't go anywhere. So I don't know. But if I if I do, I will. Definitely... What's the worst that can happen? Oh, I, you know, have to move. Oh. <laughs> but no, you know, whatever things can happen. Something good. There's something good can happen if something really good happens, which could happen, then I will come and visit you. Yes, absolutely. Well, I will. I will, for the most part, be here. I got. A, I got a couple trips in early July, but yeah, I would love to see you in on my turf. And oh my gosh! Well, the lucky thing for us is that we did meet. We had this wonderful conversation and the at the Raymond, and it's going to be on a year in bloom later, and everybody can at least listen to it because it's fantastic. And we talked about your book and. Um, and thank you so much for interacting with us in a year in bloom. Of course, of course, uh, anything I can do to help. It's fantastic. It's nice to be around other positive people. So great. Got to leverage that. Well, I don't know if you've been watching for very long, but we have been going through the tips. Oh, that's awesome. I'm sorry I missed. Yeah, I was um, trying to clear up some emails. I, I got rid of 300 emails in my inbox. <laughs> Good for that, you. Was, that was my focus for the day and a lot of client calls that's great well we we left off talking about values and um so we just only got to the third tip so we'll we'll pick, pick that up again in the group and if you wanted to talk about that that'd be great but i've got my prototype deck that cindy hasn't seen this yet but i printed out some of the cards from my new affirmation deck oh. that i'm going to be doing at um that women's retreat at the end of the month. So these are some cards Ooh. with some words and it goes with my guidebook. So um, I thought maybe I could do a reading. Oh, so yeah. the, the yeah, so is 10 minutes to relieve the babysitter, but. Um, oh, we've only got 10 minutes to go anyway, but yeah. anyway, there's that. What so else? how old are your children? Um, my oldest just turned eight yesterday. So mm -hmm. we had a, Nice little birthday celebration, and my youngest is turning six on uh, Memorial Day weekend. That uh -huh. Sunday, May is so. the birthday the month. Beginning. It is the birthday month, and my dog's birthday was on Sunday, and my husband's birthday was on the first. We are in a you know our all of our birthdays are slammed into one month. Wow. Well, happy birthday! We love birthdays. On last night's show with Ms. Meliz, we celebrate birthdays every night, and we read from the birthday book. Oh, awesome. I know. It's a silly book that I have. It kind of goes into all this detail of what it, what things are like if you were born on this day. And Cindy puts his hat on as a birthday celebration. Yeah. Don't put it on. You have to come to that show to see it. But it's fun, and she likes to blow this noisemaker. We have a lot of fun on that show. <laughs> this is the That's lovely. Two boys. 
Yeah. Sweet. Wow. Energy and uh, their their dad's out of town this week, so we've we've been piggybacking off of each other's travel. So they're gonna they're gonna be my uh, my cuddlers tonight. Oh, sweet. That's sweet. I remember those days. Yeah. yeah, long ago. My kids are big, 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 big boys. Mine too. Well, Amber's birthday is the 21st of June. That's a nice time. That's coming up soon, Amber. A oh, month. Plans. Wonder if she has any big plans. I, I used to celebrate my birthday a lot. Now I kind of just glossed over. I mean, like, been. I've been talking about my birthday for so long that I thought I was going to be 50 this year. And Cindy just reminded me that that's actually next year. So I'm like, I just realized I'm younger than I thought I was. So I'm excited. I'm happy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I always feel older than I am. So uh, that's, you know, you yeah. know, when you have kids young, I think it makes you older faster. That's my theory. That's my know. story. Stick into it. <laughs> I know. I don't know. I feel pretty young. I felt like I had kids young and now my kids are older and I still feel like I'm younger than they are. Oh, that, that, that could be another problem altogether. <laughs> no, they don't seem to mind too much. Well, Amber, I think we've tired you out. I mean, Amber, I've got Amber and April, April, April. Yeah. I've tired Amber out too. But thank you so much for joining us. Did you um, have anything you wanted to say? Thank you so much you know, since you came on. I wanted to give you a moment to talk about your book and how we could find it and find you and your website and everything. Um, yeah. Um, you, can, you can find me on my website, www.thecheerfulmind.com. Um, it's, it's a newly rebranded site as of a couple months ago. So I did a, did, did a big boom of a launch um, when the book came out. Um, there's, there's a whole bunch of resources there. Um, I've got a blog that is kind of a mix of videos and writing because I like to switch it up. Um, and I also have a freebie on there if you, if you need it for anybody who feels like they need to have more time. Um, I have a checklist with, um, 10 different things that you can do to kind of create more spaciousness and, um, make more time to do the things you love. Um, yeah, my book's available on Amazon and barnesandnoble.com might be available elsewhere, but I'm not quite sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I and love it. I, I'm on all of the social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Um, I'm kind of, I'm a little behind on responding to posts and everything from the weekend, but, um, yeah, I'm, I'm usually pretty active and pretty accessible. Well, that's how we met kind of on Instagram. Yeah. She's a great, at, she's great at replying on Instagram folks. So yes. not that she's not great on replying everywhere else, but it seemed like Instagram was your jam. <laughs> well, I think I get certain notifications. I think when I was in LA, I was, I was really bad at um, responding to everything because my phone was just going crazy. Right. But when I'm at home, I can, can look at stuff, but yeah. I'm pretty active on, on Facebook out of all of the different, um, different platforms. That's awesome. Yeah. That's great. I love Facebook, especially now with Bubbler Media. So April, thank you again. I'm just going to pop this up here. It's April. Oh, I could do it over here. So, so for me who came in late, can you tell me, you know, what the overall of your book is? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's kind of an exploration of work-life balance and what does that mean to, to everyone? You know, it's, it's, it's a term that's used very, um, very frequently. And a lot of people say that they want it. Um, but sometimes it's, it's hard to identify what that is and what you have to do to, to get it. Um, and it was something that I had personally kind of always wanted. And then I'm like, really, what is work-life balance? So it was kind of that whole exploration of, you know, if I want work-life balance, if that's what I want to accomplish, how am I going to get there? And, um, in my own personal journey of finding it, um, I just share a whole bunch of different things or, or you know, the definition of, of what work-life balance is and, and how you go about finding it and how you start infusing, you know, using these 10 tips that I have, start infusing that into the different areas of your life. And I kind of talk about, I share stories of how, um, I found a success in all of those different areas um, to accomplish my work-life balance. So, hmm. 
It sounds like I need to get this book, Melissa. <laughs> well, I do have a copy right here, and you should get your own copy. It's a really great book, and Cindy, you're going to love it because it's not a huge book. And April, tell us why you specifically made it a quick read. On purpose. Because my people are busy, and they don't have time to read a long book. <laughs> So a lot and, of and I will be completely honest. I don't read like I don't read a gazillion books either. I, I'm very, very picky about the books that I read. Um, and not about, she keeps saying it's words. It's words, Melissa. I'm not. <laughs> so she doesn't like to read. A I'm a picture girl. <laughs> but I, I do need to find balance because I have been, you know, saying to Melissa for the past year is I don't have that balance and, and I need to make some kind of a plan to say, okay, I'm only going to work on this part of my business this day and work on that. I have a couple different things I'm juggling, but I seem to not be, you know, it's like I'm all in and I forget everything. Or if I come over here, I'm all in here and I forget this part of my life. And it's like, and then my forget my house altogether. <laughs> right. Because we've been talking about focus. So it, she's been trying to be laser focused on one area. So then you kind of lose balance everywhere else. So yeah. maybe our next, yeah. our next, uh, um, practice take, would be to take, balance everything. I'll take April's lessons one, one bullet at a time. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. And I, and I mean, I think we, you know, we constantly have many goals going on in, in different areas of life. And sometimes we need to focus more heavily. You know, when I was putting this book out, it was a lot of focus and a lot of time. And now that it's, it's, now that it's out, I can, you know, start to prioritize some of the other things that are, that are important to me. But, you know, I also am setting certain non-negotiables. You know, I want to make sure that I'm spending time with my family, um, you know, and, and in that time being very present. And so, you know, really defining what that, you know, what that looks like is, mm -hmm. is super key. Mm -hmm. um, and just not feeling guilt about, you know, if you have to, to kind of juggle the, the things or, you know, really just setting good boundaries. So, wow. so, awesome. true. Thank so you. wonderful. Thank you. Well, speaking of time, it's time to say goodbye. So good night. I'm going to hop off too because I got to go meet my, my kids upstairs. But um, okay. thanks for having me on. And I'm oh, good. Thank you. Thanks for happy. joining us, April. And thank you so much yes, Cindy, for coming. I hope you both have a wonderful night. Yeah. And We'll see you all next time on Inspiring Adventures with Ms. Meliz. And Tuesday, next Tuesday, um, I know we have a few guests coming on. Uh, there's a, been a few changes in the schedule, but if um, our guests can't be here, it'll be me and Cindy, and we'll do some more readings and talk to you about a little bit more in depth about some of the books that we have uh, had the opportunity to meet the authors. So thank you everybody for being here and I will roll my little video again. So um, you can hear the out the music. So hold my thought one second. <laughs> Thank you.